guys welcome back so it has been quite a while since we worked on the F-16 so um, kind of what we need to do is take stock and figure out exactly what we've got left because like I said it's been quite a while so um, first of all I think we need to sort out a few things or finish up some things that are almost done so the tail at first glance would seem like it's done but it's not so um, I think one thing that I've added since I've talked to you last is I contacted Cali graphics for this Arkansas logo and it looks really nice and um, I'd say that the work that she did is uh, totally awesome um, but <laughs> I, I don't think it fits from the available colors that they had um, and it's it's just thick enough like if you look on the nose section here that it doesn't it, it just doesn't match up with everything else that we've done I mean this is all painted um, this is decals but it's um, a lot thinner than the than the material that uh, that she's used so um, it's going to stay for right now, uh, just so that we can get some of the other stuff done. But I think I want to order the same thing from her, but in reverse that I can use as a stencil instead. Um, and I think this, this should be paint. All right. So that's one thing on the tail section. Number two, all we need to do is glue the hinges in place and this would be fully functional and almost 100 percent done number three we've got we just need to mount a little bulkhead in here and the screw so that this can be um, 100 percent secured so um, if you remember way way sorry if you remember way way back this is actually secured with a little grub screw inside that little hole there. So that's the tail section. All right, the other thing that we need to finish up is, all right here, I need to figure out how to completely secure this canopy. Right now I've got one of these little latches back here and I've what was provided in the kit was one more of those latches for up front but I really don't want to use that so I need to figure out how to do that and then this will be a hundred percent done alright and I think where we left off last time was the cockpit and so we need to wrap up working on the cockpit so um, the canopy I just need to figure out a way to secure it um, I was going to use a servo and all that stuff with just a little pin in there and I'll probably use a similar principle um, but I think I'm just going to manually secure it for the time being until I either upgrade a radio or what have you so okay and then I'm moving the stuff around in here so it's not really secure but um, I was kind of playing with there's the side panel over there you know what kind of possibilities we have there um, it's just a printout um, I just need to figure out how to secure the entire assembly inside there and then the cockpit will be done alright so then alright I had to Rob, I didn't have to, but I did, one of the uh, pressure gauges here um, for the Practice F-16, which I never was able to get those um, landing gear to completely function reliably, um, so I ended up buying the E-Tract, uh, or the E-Tract, the E-Flight retracts, um, and those work perfectly, so... Um, still working on my landings. Um, I still like to uh, land very, very hard. So um, until I get that dialed in, uh, this bad boy's not going up. So 
that is pretty much all I need up front there and I don't know if I shared with you guys or not um, but a long while ago um, when I was building this I dropped this and um, it landed right on the other side of that switch and busted it um, I mean it works but I wouldn't say it works reliably and it's kind of loose and funky and anyways I, I tried fixing it and taking it apart but it's never been right so I need to buy a new one of these little uh, charging panels here and power stations so that's that alright and then ugh, if we open up the canopy I'm sorry the the hatch okay all that's really left in here is I need to um, what do I need to do? Oh, yeah. Um, this needs to be secured to the plane itself. Right now, it's it's not. The only thing that's holding it in place is actually the Stumax down to the bottom um, rail that we built there. So. Um, I'm sure it'd be fine, <laughs> but I don't want to take any chances, so this still needs to be secured there. Okay, so on the underside, pretty much, it's just a matter of filling in just the last little bits and filling in the seams, sanding, I mean this is pretty good right now. Um, same thing over here, and let's see what the other side looks like. Yeah, pretty much just that same seam, and to the back looks pretty good. So that's just a matter of paint. Um, some little odds and ends here. I need to secure these hoses just a little bit better. There's one there, and there's a yellow guy over there. Um, just need to glue them up in there so that they don't dangle. Um, and that will be done. We'll need to attach the little, the little fins here. Um, there's the arrestor hook that goes right there. And uh, yes, the F-16s have that, so you can check that out. Um, and then this, I'm saving this for last um, because this is driving me nuts. Um, getting this door to fully close has been a pain and you can see here that it looks as though it will fully close. Um, but the way that the tubing is routed it has to be just right for it to work to both open and close and then once it is closed the door um, doesn't want to conform very well, well um, I was able to heat it up and get it to uh, conform pretty good but um, it's still a challenge so um, I think out of the entire build Except for maybe the difficulty I was having with the uh, vertical stab, I think this has given me the most trouble. So that's why I'm waiting for that one last. Um, but anyhow, so once I have all that, I have to uh, paint the underside of the wings. And I found a Tamiya color um, that's in a spray bottle that actually matches pretty darn good the uh, the lighter neutral gray that I painted the fin there. Um, I mean it is so close and the only place that there would be any overlap is right there. Um, and so I'll probably have to do some spray paint work or whatever. There's just enough of a color difference you can tell but I'll blend it in with with the airbrush. Other than that the very I think the only thing left is 
connecting the elevator push rods um, up to the servos more securely. I use ball links and that's not what I wanted to use permanently so they're just up, up in here um, but I just need to get some uh, clevises on there and this thing will be good to go so expect a video here shortly we are going to glue on the rudder so all right we're back on the F-16 guys and we're not far I'll see you next time <laughs>